Mr. Hurd, during your one-year investigation, did you have communications with the White House and the White House Counsel in, in particular? Yes. I think you had, like, I, I got five letters that they, uh, in, in, and they communicated with you regarding your investigation. Is that accurate? We received a number of letters from uh, White House Counsel's office, and as well as the President's personal counsel. Right. They're either special counsel or, or personal counsel, I see, the, who signed the letters. And did the White House get the report before the report was made public? We did provide a draft of the report to the White House Counsel's Office and members of the President's personal counsel team for their re review. No, I understand. And did the White House then, once they got the report before it went public, did the White House try to weigh in with, with your investigation on elements of that report and, frankly, get the report changed? They did request certain edits and changes to the draft report. Yeah, I see that in the, in the February 5th letter. Did they only correspond with you? I'm sorry, Congressman. Are you, are you asking if they, Congress, if they corresponded with anyone else once, on my team? Once you gave the report to the White House, yes. they, tried to, they saw changes. I have one letter here that's addressed to you on February 5th, and they said, we're pleased that after more of a year of investigating, you've determined, you know, they, 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 they respond to the report. And then they, they ask, they, they disagree with your, uh, they ask for you to change some of the things you had in your report, namely the fact that the president's uh, memory was uh, not very good. You remember that? Yes, sir. Okay, but I also have two other letters, one on February 7th to Merrick Garland, where they raise the same concern, and then on February 12th, where they go to the DAG, Bradley we uh, Weinsheimer. You familiar with those? Uh, I am familiar with those letters. Bradley Weinsheimer is an assistant uh, or associate deputy attorney general. Right, associate DAG, the ADAG, right? Yes. And Merrick Garland, of course, is the attorney general. So yes, you're familiar with the fact that they went over your head? Um. They were certainly entitled to write whatever letters they wished to Mr. Weinsheimer and to the Attorney General. I just find that interesting. You know, the White House, is, they're communicating with you throughout this one-year investigation, and then the White House says, oh, we're going we're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to the principal's office, and we're going we're gonna to talk about Mr. Hur's report. Do you find that interesting? Uh, as I said, they, they were free to correspond with whomever in the federal government they wished to correspond with. Um, I, I did engage in numerous communications with them during the course of the uh, investigation, and as is reflected in the special counsel regulations, the attorney general did provide oversight of my investigation. I understand. Uh, I thank the gentlelady for yielding and uh, yield back the chair.